When I'm building a PC to last eight to 10 years, my storage can't just be fast. It needs to be bulletproof. And the Samsung 990 Pro 4 terabyte NVMe is one of the best drives out there. What's up everyone? It's the Don with the Don Tech. Welcome to part five of my eight part review series where I'm diving deep into every component of my ultimate gaming PC build. If you follow my PC part shopping series up here, you know that I did my research and I bought the best longest lasting parts for my build. And today we're looking at the NVMe boot drive, the Samsung 990 Pro and four terabytes. Let's see if it lives up to my high speed standards and reliability and durability. Why this SSD? I don't know if it should be like Texas says, why this SSD? And then blah, 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 you know, I don't know. During my PC part shopping series, I needed an NVMe SSD that could handle my demanding workload, which is gonna be gaming, streaming, 4K video editing, rendering, while also being my primary boot drive for Windows 10. I also sometimes do all those other things all at once. I wanted something fast, reliable, and built to last. This SSD checked all those boxes. The PCI 4.0 standard, I bought this before the newest 5.0 Samsung drives came out, is a huge plus, boasting insane speeds of up to 7,450 Mbps and 6,000 for the read, sorry, and 6,900 BPS for the write. Do acronyms help? I don't know. The five-year warranty offers a great peace of mind, and Samsung has been a leader in SSDs for an extremely long time. The 990 Pro uses Samsung's 8th gen 236 liter VNAND TLC flash and Pascal controller with four gigs of LP DDR4 DRAM, ensuring high performance and sustained speeds. I knew this drive would pair perfectly with my ASUS ROG Strix Z890E motherboard from episode one, and also with my processor from episode two. Maybe you can kind of see a sequence here. Installing the Samsung 990 Pro 4 terabyte was as easy as you'd expect on this ASUS board particularly. It's an M.2 2280 standard for a form factor and it slid right into the top PCI slot on my board and then a giant heatsink from ASUS will ensure the long life and great temperatures. The four terabyte capacity is awesome. It allows me to store my large media files, give extreme access speeds for editing, and allows me to install any, if not all my games from my video game library. Not that I have time to play any of them. Fast access times will also mean that the games load quicker and the video projects stutter less when accessing and editing them, and also allows me to render them as fast as humanly possible. But unless you're doing a straight file transfer to another medium, the theoretical speeds will never really be met. You won't notice much of a difference between a standard SATA SSD and an NVMe SSD when it comes to boot speed or just general access times. The drive is faster and one of the fastest drives on the market until you get to the PCI 5.0. And these things, it's, it's about quicker access times and it is quicker in general, but at the end of the day, you're not gonna be noticing this, you know, like, oh man, my computer's slow with something else. For gaming, the 990 Pro can really shine. The high random read IOPS or IOPS ensure smooth asset loading so there's no stuttering, even in heavy open world games like World of Warcraft. My monitor doesn't push any higher than 100 hertz, but the SSD kept my system responsive while streaming or recording gameplay at the same time, which also pairs perfectly with the 96 gigs of RAM in the system, allowing everything to work cohesively. The thermals are solid. The 990 Pro has a nickel coated controller and a heat spreading label to manage the heat. Pair that with an enormous heatsink from my motherboard, and you're looking at temps peaking at around 52 degrees Celsius, well within the safe limits. Pros and cons. Besides the pros that I already mentioned about how amazing this drive is, it does have a fantastic warranty, and from Samsung, I know it's going to last. In relation to cons, there's no noted cons with the SSD. I've used Samsung SSDs for over a decade and have never had a single failure. And we're talking about using thousands of these things, both professionally and personally. A quick honorable mention for this part is that Samsung does offer their magician software that allows you to easily migrate data from one SSD to a Samsung SSD. Extremely, extremely important and good if you are upgrading. I've used this software many times in the past for other projects, but not for this particular one. But I highly recommend checking out the software for easy data migration from your old to the new. And at this point in the video, you're asking yourself, self, is this for me? Who is this for? Why would I want this? Well, if you're a gamer, content creator, power user like me, this SSD is perfect. Fast, reliable, offers tons of storage space for your games, apps, and media. And it's an excellent boot drive for high-end builds. I was also able to pick this up at a rather steep discount, making it an even better value. If the price or the four terabyte is overkill, Samsung does also offer the 990 Pro in one or two terabyte capabilities. Capacities, I guess is a better word for that. They're cheaper, but they still deliver the same performance. For budget builders, I'd recommend the 990 EVO Plus. The two terabyte offers solid PCIe 4.0 speeds at a lower price. Let me know what SSD you're using in your build in the comments down below. So there you have it. That's my review of the Samsung 990 Pro 4 terabyte. Next up is part number six, where I'm gonna be reviewing my CPU cooler. Don't miss it. I'm happy to answer any and all questions you may have, so leave them in the comments down below. If you found this review helpful, feel free to subscribe. And hitting the like button will also help others know and see this as a helpful video. I'm on a journey to bring you the best PC building content, and I'd love for you to join me. Check out the full series of the PC parts building shopping experience in the playlist linked below to see why and how I picked this SSD. This has been the Don with the Don Tech, and remember, the Don's got your back. Y'all don't want to know how long I've been in this room. I've been in this room a long time.